Today we're going to take a quick look at what's new with Siemens PLCs based on their virtual event they had back on June 23rd. And we're going to start with the new firmware for the S7 1500s version 2.9. Now this does not require new hardware. This is firmware you can download into any of your S7 1500 CPUs. Now one of the first things that they talked about was how this new version of firmware freed up additional memory, both in the program and data storage, especially for the 1518. Now you can see it also affected some of the other controllers as well in that chart, but that's important if you have one of those controllers. Next, they expanded their media redundancy protocol so you can have up to uh, 11 MRP rings coupled together, which is a fairly good sized system. After that, they went to a discussion on their new safety integrated redundancy. So these, they've had redundant uh, CPUs for a while, but now they have uh, CPUs that also support safety. So I thought that was a pretty big deal as well. And then they're also added these products into PLC SIM Advance, so you can now emulate them too. That said, another feature they've done in TIA Portal is they've added TLS-based protection for communications between controllers, engineering stations using TIA Portal, and HMI stations. And that's a pretty big deal because security is becoming more and more important with every year that goes by. Um, another thing they did is they added a server alarm and condition support to the product. So this is a big deal, right? So they've supported OPC UA for a while, right? But now they're adding alarms and condition support as well. So you can see on this slide that uh, that could be a pretty big deal. That gives you a lot of additional information that you can get out of the controller automatically via OPC. And here you can see they're also integrating certificate management with OPC UA as well. And uh, again, that's going with that whole security by default theme that Siemens rolled out with version 17. So this is uh, some pretty good steps they're taking. Now, they also want to address TSN. They've been getting a lot of questions about TSN. And one of their major points was to say, TSN is not a new field bus. And here I think they do a good job talking about how TSN is part of the IEEE 802.1 um, standard. And you can see that's in the layer two in the data link. So basically they can go ahead and add TSN to their existing uh, networks and they don't have to design a brand new network, right? So that allows them to add support for some much faster, much higher quality communications over the existing field buses. So with that said, they are looking at integrating TSN over the coming months and in, uh, in versions so that they can have it built into Profinet, which I thought was pretty cool, and into OPC UA communications as well. Now you can see here the different prototypes that are currently running with it, and uh, they're expecting this to drop after version 18. Now, one of the things that if you're familiar with the uh, SM1500s and the AT200 CPUs, is that they have a web server built in. And, um, you know, they, they've released a uh, JSON API so that to make it easier for a web designer to work with the web server and, and be able to, you know, attach the tags and get information back and forth. That said, the big news here is the move of those user-defined websites to the load memory, the card of the PLC. And this allows you to actually create or download new websites without taking the PLC out of the run mode. So that's pretty cool as well. But I think even more popular is this view of things. I recently uh, asked Siemens to come on our automation tech tip show to demonstrate how this works. But in a nutshell, it lets you design a very rich graphical environment or web page for your S7 1500 to serve up right inside of TIA portal so you don't have to be an HTML or um, JavaScript expert. So with that said, those are my highlights from the presentation on what's new with Siemen PLCs from their online event back on June 23rd. Now, if you want to see the entire video, I'll include a link in the description to it. And if you enjoyed this summary, please give us a like and a sub. And if you ever want to keep track of me, follow me or ask me a question, you can do so right over at automation.locals.com. With all that said, I want to wish you a very happy, safe, and healthy week. And until next time, my friends.
Peace.